An Indian Army study has found that Agni Veers have significantly outperformed their predecessors in military academic examinations conducted during the training period. The Indian Army has started patrolling Kutch region with the newly acquired Ator Advanced Amphibious Extreme Mobility Vehicles. The Indian Army has deployed FPV drones for counter-terror operations in JNK. The RDO chief has said that the RDO's hypersonic glide vehicle will be completed by 2027 and hypersonic cruise missile by 2030. Bangalore-based SSS Defence has received orders for small arms ammunition from several state police forces as well as friendly foreign countries. ISRO has successfully launched the EOS-8 Earth Observation Satellite on board the small satellite launch vehicle today. Amin Aviation and Aerospace Solutions has secured a contract to perform maintenance repair and overhaul services on the Nepalese Army's Mi-17 helicopters. After surviving bankruptcy and takeover by India's Swan Energy, Peeper Waff shipyard will soon resume operations, and it is also in talks to build large green bulk carriers. A retired Pakistan Air Force official has said that Pakistani pilots have started training on Chinese J-31 fifth-generation fighter jets that would provide the Pakistan Air Force with a significant edge over India for the next 12 to 14 years, as India is unlikely to acquire similar capabilities within this period. Despite the potential threat, the Indian Air Force is not planning to procure off-the-shelf fifth-generation fighter jets to counter Pakistan's J-31 acquisition, and is focused on the development of its AMCA, that will be ready for induction by 2035. The Indian Air Force is seeking assistance from Boeing, to determine the financial viability of repairing an Apache helicopter, that made a hard landing in Ladakh in April this year. The Apache lost power during an operational sortie, that resulted in extensive damage to the helicopter's undercarriage. A Boeing team inspected the wreckage in India to assess the damage, and Boeing will soon provide the Air Force with a detailed cost estimate for repairs, and if the repair costs are deemed too high, the Air Force might have to declare the helicopter a total loss, which could mark the first time the Air Force lost an Apache helicopter since acquiring 22 units in 2015. The DRDO is actively developing an advanced stack armor system, and this breakthrough technology aims to replace the traditional passive steel plates on tanks and armored personnel carriers with a more dynamic defensive shield. The core concept revolves around equipping vehicles with sensors, that are capable of detecting incoming anti-tank missiles, and once a threat is identified, the system will autonomously deploy countermeasures to neutralize the missile. Apart from 3,500 tanks comprising the Arjun T-72 and T-90 tanks, the upcoming future infantry combat vehicles are set to benefit from this cutting-edge development. The Super Shukhoi project aims to elevate the capabilities of Indian Su-30 aircraft to rival and surpass the Chinese J-16. While the J-16 boasts a composite airframe, India is exploring radar cross-section reduction measures for the Super Shukhoi, although the extent of composite panel integration remains unclear. The overall upgrade package includes upgraded radar avionics weapons and electronic warfare systems, that is poised to give the Super Shukhoi a decisive edge over its Chinese rival. Today's Top 3 Comments